Each word is like a transparent coin and you can purchase things with. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. Who is that Spirit that is of God? You know how of God He is? He's so of God, He is God. I mean, you can't get more of God than that. We have received that we might know the things that are freely given to us of him mm -hmm. verse 13 which things also we speak also what do you mean also that means he spoke them and now we are speaking them yes. what things the things that are freely given to us of god if you want the things to be freely given to you you're going to have to speak the things mm -hmm. Well, I'm not willing to speak the things. Then you won't have the things. You have to also speak. It's that we might know the things. So we get to know the things. If we've received the Spirit of God, the Spirit God, the Holy Ghost, then it is our right and privilege to know the things that are freely given to us yes. so back off if you don't like me knowing the things you don't have to know the things mm -hmm. just go your own religious way mm -hmm. but i'm gonna know the things Amen. how do we do this verse 13 which things also we speak he tells you who and he tells you how mm -hmm. who the holy ghost and how by speaking mm -hmm. the holy ghost is god in the earth today mm -hmm. and we walk with him by speaking in agreement mm -hmm. well these things are god's things can you see that yes. because it's god's thing there is no limit to it it's ever expanding so each thing is ever expanding and then it expands into all things living god gives us richly all things to enjoy and we have received the spirit mm -hmm. that we might know the things but get one thing first I think some people miss it sometimes as they're trying to believe God for everything he has everything mm -hmm. but believe him for one thing get one thing say one thing, one thing. get one thing moving in your life yeah. a thing mm -hmm. and then you'll know the process of how you got it and walking in it does this make sense yeah. by speaking mm -hmm. each word is like a transparent coin that comes from God that you collect and you can purchase things with but you have to have one coin first you have to have it to pay for the thing mm -hmm. are you here yeah. and they come from his word it's one word say one word. one word and then you own that word and it's like a currency of heaven that you're able to buy that one thing with are you hearing this you can buy something with that what is the thing you're purchasing that word said mm -hmm. get one thing a thing working first his word established in you 
is wealth say his word, his word. Established, established in me, in me. Is, wealth. is wealth that's the definition of wealth and if you get it this way by using those coins which is his word spoken say if i get it that way, if I get it that way. it's legitimate and it's seen by him it's seen by the angels they know that you bought it the right way it's not filthy lucre there's nothing dishonest about it it's his word people will criticize me and you but oh you're just you're just confessing god's word because you're believing for it to come to pass <laughs> that is exactly right how do you have a problem with that right. i'm saying what he said his word spoken is your power to get the thing yes. his word spoken out your mouth is your power to get the thing or a thing mm -hmm. or all things yeah. but you got to get it moving first mm -hmm. so concentrate on one thing concentrate on one coin until you get it the power to get becomes more important than the thing gained yeah you wanted the thing gained but having the power to get it is more important than just getting the thing is this making sense yes. what's greater wealth or the power to get wealth the power to get only increases you mm -hmm. just having wealth could be diminished if you have a bunch of money and you spend it it was diminished mm -hmm. if you have power to get wealth and you use it you are increased yes. do you understand mm -hmm. no matter where you are at financially i don't care where it is have a little have a lot from wherever you're at if you have the power to get it increases you so what's more important having the wealth or having the power to get having the power to get mm -hmm. well 30 years ago i was praying in tongues i was just out of bible school and i'd rented this office space so i could do my office things and i was living in the back of it because being a young man i cared more about having my office space than uh -huh. a legitimate place to live but anyway so i spent a lot of time it there after hours praying in other tongues mm -hmm. say praying in other tongues, praying in other tongues. so i walk the floor and pray in tongues and i would do a lot of fasting too <laughs> i didn't have a lot of money so in between money that came in for eating i did some fasting <laughs> was it bad for me no it was good for me mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. i'm just telling you so i'm spending a lot of time hours and hours say hours. hours hours and hours and hours praying in other tongues mm -hmm. and i was taken into this vision and i began to see and hear this man speaking i was kind of in a small auditorium and there was a a raised platform and this man was walking back and forth on it and he was speaking to us we were sitting there and listening and this man said the words the gospel of wealth and i knew that the man was andrew carnegie so i was taken into this place where i was watching this man named andrew carnegie talking about the gospel of wealth well so i went after i came out of this vision i went and i looked up in an encyclopedia do you know what that is 30 years ago they had these things yes. <laughs> there was no internet you looked it up it was an encyclopedia do i have to explain this people would sell them from door to door <laughs> big stacks of books and you look things up in well i looked up the gospel of wealth actually i looked up andrew carnegie and you know what it said he was the richest man in the world at one time and he went around all over the country giving this message about the gospel of wealth he even wrote a book called the gospel of wealth mm -hmm. but in this book he talks about are you is this okay yes. in this book so i got the book and i read it and in this book he talked about when he was uh he was one of those uh 
telegraph operators telegraph operators was his first job he actually had a job at the telegraph station and some guy didn't show up for work that day and he said i will do it he taught himself how to do the morse code and so he got right in there got his out got himself a raise and a job and he took that extra money and he invested in sleeping cars i know a lot of people are going to be like what are all these terms you're using <laughs> encyclopedias and sleeping cars what is a sleeping car <laughs> it's part of the the train you know really wealthy people would buy their own sleeping car and have it pulled around the country sounds good i think it still sounds great anyway so he invested in this company that made sleeping cars and one day he's sitting there you know click doing his job mm -hmm. and a check comes in the mail mail with his name on it andrew carnegie and it was you know for like a dollar something and it was a dividend from that company that he'd invested in mm -hmm. and he said that was his aha moment say his aha moment his aha he saw the power to get wealth for him are you here yeah. i'm just trying to get some points across later he would become the wealthiest man in the world the power to get say the power to get, the power to get is, more is more important than the wealth it gets, wealth it gets. everybody gets their eyes on the wealth i want more money i want my, my bank account to have larger numbers in it and a lot more zeros at the end of the number when they should be concentrating on the power that gets the wealth yes. get your eyes off the wealth get your eyes on the power that gets does this make sense yes. deuteronomy 8 18 the lord thy god it is he that gives the power to get wealth did it say he gives you wealth no. it said it is god who gives you power to get wealth god gives me power to get wealth does he or doesn't he this is a question you have to answer yourself the lord your god does he give you power to get wealth i can't answer that for you but personally i would rather agree with him the lord my god yes. than disagree with him mm -hmm. religious people tend to not agree with him in this area mm -hmm. you have to agree it's a thing freely given to you what's freely given to you power to get which things also we speak so if he says it's him that he gives me or the power to get wealth mm -hmm. you have to also say that he gives you power to get wealth yes. right by saying or speaking in agreement mm -hmm. with him with chapter and verse i conclude that this is who i am some people are getting this i am someone god gives power to get wealth to say i am someone god gives power, god gives power to, get to get wealth to now you can do with it what you want and you can go as far as you want and wealth has nothing to do with it the power to get has everything to do with it no matter where you're at mm -hmm. if you get a dollar in your bank account or 10 million dollars in your bank account mm -hmm. it's the power to get wealth that makes you who you are do you have the power to get wealth has god given you the power to get wealth yes. that's who you are it's who i am that's why religious people don't like me mm -hmm. <laughs> by saying his word speaking in agreement i must conclude this is who i am god gives me say god gives me god gives me and what god holy ghost god we've received him that we might know the things freely given mm -hmm. this is one of the things freely given that i may know mm -hmm. thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth mm -hmm. 
or did it say get by <laughs> to get by mm -hmm. no he said god gives you power to get wealth mm -hmm. he didn't stutter mm -hmm. you shouldn't it is god that gives the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swear yes. so it's not all about you mm -hmm. you walking in this power to get wealth is not all about you it's that he 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 may establish his covenant which he swear mm -hmm. his covenant is what he said you know how he makes a covenant he makes it by saying things mm -hmm. he gives you power that he may establish what he said mm -hmm. what he said are his promises proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord makes you rich adds no sorrow with it are you are you are you are you made rich no sorrow added mm -hmm. what he said what he swear it says there mm -hmm. hebrews chapter 6 13 for when god made promise to abraham yeah. that was his covenant was his promise right mm -hmm. with blessing he will bless him and multiplying he will multiply him mm -hmm. blessing blessing multiply multiply yeah. who's going to do this god Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Mm -hmm. Say, as it is this day. Is this day. He's looking at you this day to see if he can establish his covenant, which he swear god the holy ghost gives you power to get wealth that he may establish what he said how is he going to establish what he said he gave you the power to speak in agreement so that he can do it mm -hmm. god the holy ghost gives me power to get wealth say that god the holy ghost god gives me power to get wealth that he may establish what he said do you believe it or don't you it's up to you these words come to you and you either believe them and speak in agreement with them it is established in you first and the holy ghost looks at you but it is a process of you being changed that he may establish his say that he, he may, establish may establish his well here we can see wealth is inextricably tied to his word being established mm -hmm. the power to get wealth is in the speaking of his word the promise that he said he gave this power to you well well no it is God who gives you the power it's your choice you're either gonna say God gives me power to get wealth or you're gonna say something else mm -hmm. and when you agree with him he's able to establish that covenant and his promises and his word in you he gave this power to you what are you going to do with it yes the living god gives us richly all things to enjoy but start with a thing start with a promise get that moving in your life let him establish that thing in you mm -hmm. and then let it develop and move on to all things if God says that you are wealth and wealthy who are you to say otherwise mm -hmm. I would rather say what God has already said about me that it is God who gives me power to get wealth say that it is God, it is God. that gives me, gives me power, power to get wealth, to get wealth. 
holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people that their ears have been opened and they can understand that you have already given them the power to get wealth and then as they open their mouth and begin to speak your words and your covenant and your promises these things shall come quickly to pass and others will be astounded by the transformation that has taken place in you on you and around you it's a wonderful day we worship you holy ghost in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you you are God in the earth today I get to walk with you by speaking in agreement with your word you have given me power to get wealth I walk in it I live in it and it has become me I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right God in the earth. 